Hi, everybody. It's three things to know. Late June 2021, we've got Adam, Craig, Jerry. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. So this week, as we all know, it's no secret that the market is hot. We're going to run you through some stats. And despite the hot market, we have had sellers come to us and hire us with frustrations on why their house isn't selling. And we've noted there are three common mistakes. First, let's talk about just how hot the market is. In summary, days on market is now five days, less than a week. Supply, meaning if everything on the market sold and nothing else went on the market, how long would it take for everything to sell at the rate of what, where things are selling? Would be a month. A neutral market, that's six months. The other thing is inventory. Right now, the number of listings in Buckhead is half of what it usually is. Depending on how you navigate and look at that, it, the numbers might be a little different, but a real easy one to look at is 30327. Right now, there are less than 100 listings. Normally, there are 200 to 250 listings on the market. Last but not least, the number of sales. The number of sales is pretty even. In Buckhead, the number of sales is actually higher than what it usually is. It, it's, it's higher depending on how you look at the zip code or the area, but in some areas, it's even as high as double what it usually is. So that being said, as a seller, you're like, well, how can I go wrong? You can. Three mistakes we're seeing when sellers come to us needing that help to get their property sold, and we'll give you some examples of how we fix it. Number one is the presentation of the property from marketing to staging. Number two is the pricing strategy. Yeah, you can get aggressive with price, but you better have the strategy right so you don't miss it and you still get as much money as possible. And number three how it's negotiated because the market and the way it's navigating and even the buyers in our market are changing. So back to number one, property presentation. Adam, we've had a very interesting recent experience on the presentation of a property and getting $200,000 more for the property as a result. Share a little bit with us. Yeah, I mean, presentations, everything right now. I mean, we talk about how hot the market is, especially for sellers, but that doesn't always just translate into put, put a sign in the yard and it's going to sell. The property has to present itself properly. And then once it does, you usually get over asking price with multiple offers. Just in the case when we had come in, we'd make sure we do the full the full media package with the Matterport, 3D tour, video, everything. But along with that, help stage it, paint it, um, make sure that everything in the house is going to present properly to get the the maximum offer for that house. And, and we've done that and and on more than one occasion and the offers come in well over asking price, even if it's been listed before. So exactly. it really makes a difference. It makes a huge difference presenting it. You've got to get the house ready. You've got to present it ready and you've got to get it in front of the actual buyers and have the marketing and the, the software and the ability in place to get that property in front of the people who will pay the die who are looking for it and will pay the right price for it. Right. Number two, let's talk a little bit. And Craig, we, we've all got so many stories. We kind of like honed in on a few before we started. But Craig, we had a listing, or you had a listing recently where we had gone in, we had priced aggressively, and it didn't take much. But let's talk a little bit about how we did the pricing strategy on that to make sure that property got sold and sold for asking price. Pricing is really important to anyone right now because everyone thinks that they're going to be overpaying and that's not necessarily the case. We had a particular property that had numerous showings. The seller wouldn't budge off the list price. We cut it only $25,000 and we had two offers within five days. So the seller has to listen to us and we have to listen to the market. And that's really, it's not hard, but it can bring really big benefits from the seller. And that's why you've got to have the right agent in order to get the most for your property right now. And know what moves to make when and how to, how to implement. Exactly. Listen. Okay. Last but not least, negotiating. As sellers, we've had sellers come to us that feel like they should have had a deal and it fell through and they don't know why. Um, of course, we don't either. But as we're negotiating and navigating contracts regularly, we have found that it's interesting that statistics are showing that there are more terminations on contracts despite this top market or because of this top market than ever. Buyers will come in and change their minds. 
So in navigating the terms, navigating and understanding which offer is going to stick, what are the terms to ensure they do? And into that wraps into, it goes back and we first speak two things, the presentation of the showing. We didn't speak to it, but it's very important that we present your property in the way that you, for the same reasons you bought it. And we, for most of our listings, unless there's special circumstances, someone on our team that's present for every showing. Because, quote, statistically, that actually does, there are more, there's a higher success rate when the agents are showing that represent the property are there showing the property, getting the real feedback. But again, into negotiating, there's an assumption that cash is king. As you said, Craig, the cash shows up when you close. The key is to be sure that it actually shows up when you close. And there are many, many terms that determine what that is and how we negotiate the contracts. And again, navigate the offers, which goes back into getting listings to sell for a recent example, $200,000 more than they've been formally listed very recently. So three things to know, everybody. Number one, presentation of the property. Number two, negotiate. No, oh, sorry. Number two is actually pricing strategy. And number three is the negotiating. Anything else to add to that? I think you, you, you nailed it. Awesome. Well, here we are. What's that, Craig? I'm higher us. We'll get it done. Craig's like, Miss Craig's like, go ahead now. Anyway, three things to know, jmpartners.io. Thanks for listening. You guys reach out to us. If you know anybody who has any questions, might be thinking about buying or selling a home. See y'all soon. Thanks, Jerry. Thank you for listening to the JM Partners Atlanta Market Eavesdrop. If you like what you heard, please subscribe and share with your friends who might be moving or who just want to keep up with the latest on the Atlanta residential market. You can find us anytime online at jmpartners.io. That's jmpartners.io.